So in this video, we're going to learn how to work out what century a year is in. And the year that we've been given first of all is 2006 AD. So the first thing that we do is cross off the last two numbers of our year. So we're left with just 20 by itself because we've crossed off the last two numbers. This is what we always do when we're working out what century a year is in. So we take that 20, and then, once we've done that, we add 1 to it. Now, we always add 1. Every single time, we add 1. And that gives us an answer of 21, which means that 2006 is in the 21st century AD. Now, the reason I've written ST here is just like when we're writing the date, okay? So if it was the... 21st of October, for example, we would write 21 ST. We do the same thing with centuries. And I've written AD because at the end of the year, we've been told that it's AD, that this is 2006 AD. So we put that information down. So from this, I know that 2006 AD is in the 21st century AD. Let's try it with another example. Okay, so this time, let's take the year. Uh, 1750 BC. Okay, so do you remember what the first thing we do is? We cross off the last two numbers of our year, which leaves us with 17. Okay, just 17 by itself. So once again, we take that 17, and what do we always do when we're working out the century? We add 1 to it, which means that 1750 BC is in the 18th century, but this time BC. So 1750 BC is in the 18th century BC. That's how we work out what century a year is in. Okay, if you managed to follow along with that, fantastic. If you didn't, have another go through the watching this part of the video, because we're going to move to a little test now. So going to give you three different years to work out. I'm going to give you 1066 AD. I'm going to give you 5000 BC. And I'm going to give you the year uh, 1789 AD. Okay, so what I'd like you to do now is to pause the video and see if you can work out what century each of those years is in. Then I'll put the answers on the screen. Okay, so these are the answers you should have got. If you didn't get those answers, don't worry. Just go back to the start of the video and look at how to work out what century a year is in again and see if you can improve. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it with some other years now. So sometimes we might be given a year which only has three numbers in. So I'm going to use the year 545 AD. Like before, we do the same exact thing that we did. So all we do is cross off the last two numbers, just like before, except now we're only left with one number. We're left with this 5. Okay, We're not left with 2 this time, we're just left with 5. So we do the same exact thing that we did before. We take that 5, then we just add 1 to it, and that tells us that 545 AD is in the 6th century AD. Okay, We've worked it out the same exact way. All we've done is cross off the last two numbers, take the one number that's there, and then added one to it to tell us this is in the 6th century AD. So I'm just going to give you two examples to practice with. Okay, and what I'd like you to do is to use these years and tell me what century they're in. So once again, please pause the video and then I'll put the answers on the screen. Okay, and these are the answers that you should have got. If you didn't get these answers, just rewind the video, see how we work it out again and see if you can improve. Alright, so let's move on one more time and let's look what happens when, for example, 
we only have maybe one or two numbers in the date. So for this one, I'm going to give you the year 76 AD and the year 3 BC. Okay, now these are a little bit different because we have fewer numbers, but we do the same method we did before. We just have to make sure that we're being really careful when we're doing it. So let's cross off the last two numbers of 76 AD. Now this is a bit curious because now we've crossed off all the numbers. Now because we've crossed off all the numbers, we're left with zero. We'll always be left with zero. Okay? We're left with zero because we have nothing left. Now just like before, we go, let's add one to zero. And that tells us that it's in the first century, and don't forget this bit, AD. Okay? So we know that 76 AD is in the first century AD. We've worked it out just the same way. We've took that zero, we've added one to it, because we always add one when we're working out the century, and we've worked out that it's in the first century AD. Now, it gets a little bit tricky when we've only got one number there. We can only cross off one number. We can't cross off two, because there's not two there. But even so, that still gives us zero. Okay, we still have zero because we've crossed off every number that's there. We can't even cross off two because there's not two numbers there. We cross off the one number that's there and that gives us zero. So, we take that zero, we add one to it, and we work out that that's in the first century. This time, let's be careful, BC. Okay, so we've added one to it, first century BC. It would be the same with any other number. So, if we took say the year 7 AD, okay, we would do the same exact thing. We would cross off the 7, okay, that would leave us with 0, so we'd write down 0, we would then add 1 to that, and that would tell us that it's in the first century, this time AD, because we have an AD at the end. Okay, so that's how you work out what century a year is in. So what I'm going to do now is give you some examples to work with and see if you can work some out yourself. Okay, so I'm going to give you 96 AD and 8 BC. Okay, so with these two years, see if you can tell me what century they're in. So pause the video now and then when you unpause the video you'll get your answers okay and these are the two answers you should have got so for 96 AD you should have got that that was in the first century AD and for 8 BC you should have worked out that that was in the first century BC if you struggle with this video the first time around don't worry go back to the start and watch the whole thing again make sure that you've got through this topic and that you understand how to work out what century a year is in before moving on to another topic. I hope everything went well and you managed to get through that without any trouble.